when you work for a TikTok agency, basically a brand comes to you and they say like, we have this budget and here's what we want. And so it can be, some people just want ads and then some people want original content for their page and ads and influencers and everything. So it kind of depends on what they want. But working at a TikTok agency, it depends on your position, but you could have like three clients at a time, or you could have 10 and they can be just a completely different spectrum. So what we would do, like at my first one, it was mostly just making original content for all these different brands. And so us as a team would come together and strategize. We'd have different people kind of heading different brands, but we would all work together to figure out, like share different strategies, share trending sounds, what we think would work well for a certain brand. And there's usually like a three month period where you're just kind of like throwing shit at the wall and like seeing what sticks. Um, and so then also working like on the client side of that and kind of trying to explain that to them. And a lot, most of these clients don't even use TikTok and don't understand it. So there's like, it's just like everything from strategy to actually creating it. And then you send it to the clients and then they have their feedback and edits. And then there's also a lot of times a discrepancy with that because again, they don't understand the platform and they're thinking of it more of like Instagram or just like, it's just completely different. So you kind of have to find good fit clients that get it and will like trust you and be like, okay, just do it. Um, and my first one, we had one client that we ended up like finding out something that really worked. And we basically just kept recreating that video in different ways. And it, really worked like it was um period proof underwear and so like we would do experiments with it and eventually like one of those did really well and so we just like kept doing it and replying to comments and whatnot so yeah it's basically you're doing strategy making the content um again it, with ads it's a little bit different the last one that I worked at it was mainly focused on just making ads and then so we would make ads but they also wanted influencers to make ads so with TikTok if you pay an influencer to make a video and they post it, then they can also, um, you can make it a spark ad. So that means it's on their page, but it's boosted out to more people and you put money behind that. It's this whole like network of so many different things. And again, like with ads too, it, most of the time, if you see an ad on TikTok, you scroll past it. So you really have to be specific about the kind of content you're making and making sure people are actually gonna watch it.